Hey guys, today we're going to do five things you didn't know about a Fender Stratocaster. All right, let's start with number one. If you have an American Stratocaster, you may have bought it new and seen this little sticker. Sometimes they're colors, but most of the time they're silver. And if you weren't aware, that sticker was holding this little guy. It's a spring. Now, if you got a used American Strat, you probably didn't know this spring existed. Like so. So what's it for? Well, it's simple. A lot of you guys, when you put your tremolo arm into your Strat, you notice it's kind of a little, kind of loosey-goosey, like that. And you keep going and 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 going until it gets really stiff. And sometimes you get it that way just to get it to where it doesn't wiggle, see, wiggle inside the socket. Well, that's what the spring is for. So what we do is we take this tremolo arm out, drop that little guy in there, watch what happens. Now when we put it in, you'll notice right away that the pressure from the spring makes it much stiffer. And you'll get your tremolo arm, see, will stay wherever you want it. Right now, I can just do this with my pinky. It's staying where I want it and it's not stiff at all. So if you want it like here and then there and there, but you don't want it swinging, but you also don't want it stiff, that's what that spring is for. So you can take it or leave it, kind of effect. And it'll also help you not cross thread or mess up your tremolo arm when you insert it in the, into the socket. What about a made in Mexico strat? Well, you'll notice it never came with one and no sticker in there. Does it work? Absolutely. Drop straight in there, insert the tremolo arm, and same effect. You get stiff right away where you don't have a whole lot of tension. You can have it however you like. You have more control of your tremolo arm. It feels a little better. And if you have, it work on vintage strats as well. Most strats, some squires. If you have issues with the springs, you will see in the link below where to buy these. If you need to, you'll buy them in a pack. They are very hard. You cannot flex them. You cannot squeeze them together. There is a lot of pressure. You can cut them though to adapt. Okay. Number two, static electricity. Sometimes when you're touching your guitar and you hear crackling on the pickguard, right? And, or crackling when you're touching things like the screws. Sometimes it's grounding, sometimes it's electronics. You may want to take that in. But a lot of times you just need a clean cloth and some kind of static guard or static remover. Again, just a little spray, not much. Just a little bit goes, pat it and touch the area that it's affected. Make sure you're mostly touching the plastic. Again, just keep it light. Sometimes, you know, you can whiff the strings in the bridge. Just anywhere you think a static charge is built up. You want to eliminate that from there before you take it and pay for any kind of electronics to be done. You could even wipe the inside down if with some static remover. You could also use fabric softeners. Just keep in mind, a lot of them have fragrances added to them, so the cakiness uh, gets on the guitar. But if you can find a fragrance-free static uh, guard or static uh, softener sheet, that works amazing. Do that. Number three. So a lot of times when you want to back the tremolo against the body, one thing or lower the tremolo a lot of times you'll screw the six screws or if it's a uh, american strat the two screws down as hard as you can and what will happen is you don't notice that the tremolo now let's get that close has a edge on it that's hard to see especially on the main mexico's it's very apparent on the main americas you see how it's not perfectly flat it's coming up what happens is is as you just screw the screws down, the bridge actually kicks up because it's not, it's riding on this. Do you see what I'm talking about? See the edge there? So if you screw these screws too tight, you'll actually cause the bridge to go from being flat to cocked up a little bit. So on your guitar, if you look, right, if you look, you have a little bit of area right there. And so you want to loosen those and lower that. So believe it or not, loosening the screws sometimes will lower the bridge to stop it from this action to that action. Number four, one of the problems sometimes we have with the Fender Strats is that the springs make this noise and it's not very pleasing, especially when you're playing and you hear that kind of ring sound, especially from these. Okay, so what you want to do is just one at a time, just pull the spring out. 
Make sure it doesn't hook you or pinch you, right? If you feel more comfortable taking it out all different ways, I understand. You want to get a piece of foam like so. I get these from the bottom of electric guitar pickup packaging, but you want the strip to be maybe a quarter inch thick, right? Like so. And it'll be kind of like, try to make it like a quarter inch by a quarter inch. That's ideal. You see how that works? Looks just like that. Now what you want to take is a low E string off of your electric guitar, bend it like a hook, stab it through like it's a worm, go about a half inch through, bend it down, and then what I want you to do is push it through the string, or through, through the spring, not the string. Bend this to make sure it, it will go through, and then slowly pull And then you'll notice it's pretty much through. We got, eh, we got about 90% of it through. You might have to take this end and push on the back to kind of just get it, the rest in there. Yep, that's working. Okay, pull it through. Then take your scissors, cut it off that side. And then now, listen, Right? So now you hook it here. And now, versus. And you do that to all three and you'll mellow your springs out. A lot of guys will just shove a toilet paper or a tissue paper or foam inside underneath there. That works too. I just like this trick because it's very clean and easy. And as you saw how fast I did, if you take a few extra seconds, you can actually make it really stick out on each end and make it look a little cleaner and nicer. Number five. All right, so a lot of guys have the same problem. When they're strumming, they hit their knob. And a lot of them will uh, remove the knob, which is one of these, and leave it like that. I've seen that a lot. I've seen where they've actually had somebody like me take a toe knob out and move it down and not have anything there. Um, and if you're strumming so it, 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 to the point where you're hitting the knob, there's no way around that, unfortunately. However, a lot of times the issue is not hitting the knob. It's just why you're playing you feel like you're bumping it and turning the guitar down a little bit. We've all kind of just caught it right, right? So how do you stop that? Well, again, you're going to use a piece of foam, some scissors, and a knob. And basically it's like arts and crafts. Stick the knob on top of the foam and start cutting the foam to fit the knob so we can make essentially a foam donut. Very exciting. Do some trim work to make it look a little better. And that looks perfect. Okay, so now we have a foam donut. We're going to use two things. We need the tremolo arm from the guitar and the scissors. Very carefully, please, to stab down the center of the foam. Okay, that's all you want to do. And then crisscross it like a Phillips head screw. Then take the tremolo arm and use the plastic shroud to spread the, the foam out. Very cool. And then all you gotta do is just put it over the post, make sure the post is turned all the way forward, take the knob, put it there, push down. And if you have a little sticking out, again, it's pretty straightforward. You can just do some, some quick cleanup there with the scissors. You're gonna notice you may have to kind of tweak it to whatever works, something like so, and now right there, and again line it up, put the foam there, push down, and now you'll notice that it still turns, but it's really hard, and you won't have to worry about bumping, because you're going to have to definitely want to turn it to get it to turn. All right, guys, that's five things you didn't know about a Fender Strat. As always, thank you for your time. Know your gear.